Hey, how's it going? I'm Tony and this is Scott and uh, we are with Stuff that does things. God damn it, why can I never come up with the name right on spot? It is Scared City Productions. I know, it's just like, I was going to say Haunted House of Love, and I don't know why that was coming out of my Welcome mind. to the Haunted House of Love, and here we are here live <laughs> ghosts. Woo! <laughs> hey, got a good set of boobies, you know what I'm saying? You want to check out my Halloweeny? <laughs> Hey, how's it going? I'm Tony, this is Scott, and we are with Scared City Production. Coming to you from Scared City Production. Uh, yeah. Or AKA, my house. Sorry I got starstruck there for a second, I seen myself. But anyway, we are doing an unboxing of Fright Crate. This is actually a really cool box that we discovered a few months back. Uh, pretty affordable. Mm -hmm. It was about 30, uh, shipping and everything, 38 bucks and change. Uh, I think mine, when, when I do have to do mine, mine's a little more because I've got to go with a 4X shirt. Ah, uh, that's right. So I think, I think mine's around $42. <laughs> he can go off, okay? I go right off. I went ahead, Jeff can just bleep it. And it's still gonna sound like I said it, but I didn't say it. Yeah, he didn't say at all. But Jeff can go himself too. Yeah. Everybody getting up in here. Uh, but but yes, yeah. we we discovered this a few months back. Uh, about thirty-eight bucks and change, shipping and handling, and everything. If you get the four X, that's a little bit more. I think it's around what forty or so. Forty-two. Forty-two. Um, comes with. What is it? Six items? Uh, the five I think, items? I think it ranges. Um, I think every every box is going to be just a little bit different. Uh, but on average, you've definitely been getting a shirt. Uh, every box that I've gotten, you've gotten a shirt. Uh, if, you some, get, if you get the thirty dollar box. Yes. Yeah. There's there's they've got a couple different tiers. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> thirty dollar box is by far the best one because oh, the yeah. shirt itself pretty much pays for the box. I agree. I the shirts are always pristine, yeah. very awesome. This is actually one of them, you know, right here, uh, Army of Darkness. Yeah. Um, always great colors, full print shirts. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I don't think we've gotten one that hasn't been good. Uh, I've had one or two that's not our particular. Yeah. Movie, I mean, but for the price, it's still great. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Usually comes with uh, a couple of um, sometimes prop replicas, sometimes autographs. Uh, almost every one of them has come with some kind of like cereal resin. Yes. Which so far that company rocks. Oh, very much. So. You know, but uh, Tony will get get into unboxing this thing, and, and hopefully he doesn't stab me. But yeah, I've actually gotten a few of these boxes, and I. Have not been disappointed. There's there's been some where I was hoping maybe an item uh, was different than what it actually well, turned out, but and I don't think we said it, but this one actually is the uh, September yes uh, crate. So uh, you know we'll get he'll get right into doing that, and we'll kind of just talk back and forth. Yeah, you know. Oh. Y'all should see what's in here. Yeah. Paper, mother papers. All right, let's see what we got here. Did you put hot wings in this box? You put hot wings in this box. There's hot wings in this box. All right, let's see. Right off the bat, we have a shirt on top, nicely folded. Let's 
let's see what it is that we have got here. Super awesome. That's yeah, it's really, really, really cool. Now, I forgot to tell you that they actually, when you go onto their website, you can check it out, and they will give you the theme of yeah. what, it's usually five, five horror movies, and you're going to get like a t-shirt for one of them, uh, probably a resin from another one. You could be um, could be a signed piece or possibly even like a bobblehead, a plushie, something like that. Um, they have several different ways that they do it. But they pick it, you don't know what it is, and that's what makes you, it an awesome you just box. You just know the, know the theme. Yes. And one of the themes of this is obviously Hellraiser. And that is a very awesome print, if you can see that right there. That's that's really really nice. I like the colors, very uh, much so. The print, the print's really rock on. Who, who else on there? Let's see. I do believe uh, Doug Bradley, which plays yeah. Al Razor himself, is on there. Hidden head. Yeah. Um, I do not remember what the girl's name is, but this is from Hellraiser One because yeah. that's the original box. I mean, it's got like a 3D kind of effect. It's him holding the box outward. She's underneath them. The chains are in the back. Overall, very awesome print. Yeah, that's that's a really nice show. So that, and I mean, like, you, if you bought this from any other uh, horror shirt site, there's are several of them out there. November Rain, uh, the, Fright Rags. The, uh, the, the cheapest that you're going to find a shirt at a convention, 15, 20 bucks. Yeah. Uh, and anything that's got that amount of detail on it usually goes up to the twenty to twenty-five. Range. Yeah, so I mean, so you're most you're, pretty much the box is pretty close. Yeah, it's, it's close to pay for with that. All right, all right, cool. Let's see, from Monster Squad, an actual little resin exclusive Gilman, which was the the creature from the Black Lagoon from Monster Squad, actually had. The uh, the pleasure of meeting most of the cast of this movie yeah. about a year or so ago. Unfortunately, this guy was the only one that wasn't there. Yeah. But yeah, the uh, the resins are actually really good. Very vibrant colors. Very well made. You know, and one of the things that I really like about it is they actually, even though this is not a, um, you know, mass produced piece, they've got it in a, still in a. a its own packaging. Yes. Um, and it's bubble wrap. It's on the got inside bubble wrap right? inside. Keeps it where it's not going to move around. Uh, but they make their own packaging, and it's it, it is a fright uh, fright crate exclusive, um, made by cereal resin. So, like I said, we've gotten a few different cereal resins, and I really like the packaging. Even though that it's not like mainstream packaging, uh, they kind of. No, no pun intended, but they, they think outside the box a little bit. Um, but uh, you know, it's a really great, uh, great piece, and you know, I'm glad that we we got it in. So it's, I mean, it's not, it's not something you see all the time. Like, no, you know, like when you go on into mystery boxes, Monster Squad is not one of the the main things. Oh, very much no. Box. And even at the the con that we went to, that we got to see, there's a lot of people selling a lot of different stuff. I still haven't seen one. Yeah. Uh, mostly they go with the, the two main characters, which was uh, Dracula and Frankenstein. Um, and it's good to see that uh, some of the other guys are getting a little bit of play out there too, because I mean that that's a really good piece. Yep. All right, let's see what else we got. Uh, oh, this is pretty cool. Uh, let's see. This is actually a prop replica of the little skull necklace from Ginger Snaps. Is that what that's from? Yes. See if you can kind of see that, it's kind of catty corner in the package. But that is actually uh, the necklace that's worn by Catherine Isabel, which plays Ginger in Ginger Snaps. Yeah. Which is really an awesome piece. It looks like, uh, what's that, resin, probably? I don't know. Let me see if we can take it out without, without messing, messing anything up. Uh, you can tell that it's a brown leather uh, leather necklace band. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's probably... Yeah, it's a plastic uh, resin of some sort. Yeah, it's solid. But, really I mean, cool it's... piece, actually. Yeah. I know my uh, 
My fiance Sarah, she's uh, she's a huge Ginger Snaps fan, and I'm pretty sure she will probably steal that from me when I open my box. So, <laughs> <clears throat> all right, let's see what else we got here. All right, from the Bride of the Reanimator. Now, if you haven't gone out and seen rented DVD Netflix Reanimator, one of my all-time favorite. Because he's in love with Jeffrey Combs. I, I am. I am man-loved on Jeffrey Combs. Met him three times, cried like a baby. Anyway, not the point. Awesome movie. H.P. Lovecraft. Uh, anybody that's an H.P. Lovecraft fan knows about this, knows about Jeffrey Combs. But this, uh, this is a pen. This is an enamel pen that's painted awesomely. Uh, and it's a very cool pen. I've not seen anything like this. I've seen similar, but nothing is quite as cool as this. But this is from Bride of the Reanimator, which is the second movie. Huh. And um, the evil doctor gets into, you know, reanimating corpses and stuff. And in the second movie, he decides he's going to take apart body parts and sew them together and try to reanimate them and see if they'll act together. And this is one of the creations that he actually makes. It is Five Fingers with an eyeball attached to it. And, you know, I'm looking at the little cheat sheet right here. That actually even glows in the dark. Oh, that is awesome. I like it a lot. So that's that's pretty neat, you know? And I, I do want to say something. Like most of the, uh, almost every subscription box has has pins. And I know that yes. most most folks go absolutely bonkers and crazy over, over pins. <laughs> I get it, I, I, like the, I like the concept. I'm me personally. I'm not a pin uh, collector per se, uh, but this is a pretty neat, very unique uh, pin. So <laughs> I definitely give them props on that one. Uh, but you know, other than that, I'm, just, I'm not a big, I'm not a big pin fan. Um, I, I you do, only write with pencils then. Oh! Fucking tight. I mean, you can have an enamel writing pen. Yeah. I've had a wooden writing pen. <coughs> okay. So, we actually have a bonus item in this box as well, which is really kind of cool. It's one of your little rubber bracelets, but it says Bride of the Reanimator on it. And it's in the, the, the trademark green, mm -hmm. as in the, uh, the actual serum is a bright neon colored green yeah. which makes sense why that thing glows because the serum actually glows so why wouldn't it but uh that's just an extra little piece that they added with it which is kind of cool really kind of dig the bonus stuff eh, I'm a, i could go either way with this <laughs> no you don't say siskel yeah i mean <laughs> let's let's just get down to the brass tech uh i'm a fat guy I ordered a 4X shirt. This ain't going on my, my wrist. Hey, man, that don't need to go on your wrist. That's nasty. I'm just saying. But I, I get the concept again. It's kind of like the uh, pen. There's can, a lot of people out there that like these. They, they are. And I'm, I'm unfortunately not one of them. Uh, but I've got my opinion. But I do love this He's box. My I got my opinion. Yeah. Well, I don't like your opinion. Okay. Anyway, last piece but not least, uh, we have an art print by Max Cave. Um, it looks to have been signed, but on the original print and then produced afterward. Yeah. So it's not an actual signature. And some things do come signed. Like so we yeah. do have some things that we've gotten in with these boxes that are actually signed. Uh, but Max Cave actually does uh, a pretty good amount of um, art prints. And it is the Chucky Good Guy doll. Kind of a different take on them. But uh, it's unique. Oh yeah, it's I, very wouldn't, I wouldn't call it my favorite. That one, it 
definitely wasn't hurried up or done by any means of the oh, original. No. Very attention to detail. Yeah, I mean, it's got a lot of detail in it. Um, I don't know. I just, I think uh, it could have, instead of just been a close up, maybe been like an action scene uh, of him attacking somebody, I think would have been. Or just needed. the action scene of him, you know, looking like he's going to attack yeah. somebody, but just just him. Yeah. But then again, I'm pretty sure that's probably what Max had in mind. Yeah. Is the very attention to detail that is. I mean, just the eyes alone on it. Is, oh yeah. I mean. I they, mean, it's pristine. I'm sure the original print of this oh, is yeah. probably I'll, far out. I would. I would love to see that. Because the more times you copy these, you know, <clears throat> you start making them, the the, the less I think detail you're really going to get in there. Uh, it's not going to be as crisp, not going to be as clean, but uh, overall, you know, I, I do dig, I do dig the print, but just, yeah, you know, this would be a nice, nice item to get signed, especially by, you know, Brad. Uh, Brad okay. Dorf, the actual yeah. voice of Chuck. Yeah. You lost me there for a second, too. I was like, that's Max, bro. What are you doing? But yeah. no, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, like I the actual, the actual uh, you know, voice of, of Chucky, it would be nice. Or even, you know, Alex Vincent. Yes. You know. Oh, yeah, but definitely. He'd love to sign that. So, I mean, that this this would be a good good piece to get signed. So, you know, kind of do a little recap. You know, you got a couple uh, bride of reanimators. You got the enamel pin. Uh really good pin I like it I'm kind of eh on this one uh, I'm just not a big bracelet fan but it's another bride of reanimator we got the uh, the art print by Max uh, Chucky we got the uh, ginger snap uh, necklace I thought it was really cool yes uh, kind of uh, I think maybe a little underappreciated uh, you know film not everybody is oh yeah uh, I think it's all, seen it, all but, three you know, of them were very well if, uh, if, if you get a, get an opportunity, <clears throat> I definitely recommend, you know, watching those. And, you know, they had the Monster Squad uh, figure. And I'm, I'm glad that, you know, of all the items that we got, mm -hmm. you know, plus, plus the Hellraiser shirt. Yes. Uh, great, great shirt. You had two mainstream ones. You had the, you know, uh, Hellraiser and then Child's Play. And then you had three... I mean, they were mainstream, but... Reanimator's a little bit more um, kicked up higher than they are. But you know, yeah. but... These, there's a lot of people that don't even know about Reanimator. Yeah, I mean, I there's mean, a lot of folks that don't... Actually, we had a couple of our workers at the Haunted House that saw it for the first time, what, two weeks ago, three weeks ago? Yeah, and loved it. And absolutely fell in love with it. So, um, I'm glad that they're going with things that are not so mainstream mm -hmm. you know granted i love nightmare on elm street and i'd love to see maybe a little bit more uh, of that stuff in there but again oh, yeah. you're going to saturate it and it's not going to be uh, as fun it's not going to be you know maybe even worse I don't know. Much. for me it'd be freaking awesome yeah. just give me a nightmare on elm street box every month i'll be happy but <laughs> but that's just me folks yeah oh uh, i mean we i digress yeah I mean, we love we love nightmare Anytime we can meet Robert England, oh yeah, oh, dude, we're there. We're there. I wouldn't mind actually seeing uh, Friday the Thirteenth stuff. That's something I haven't seen. Too much. Yeah. So yeah. We're, we definitely got a, a future of uh, some pretty awesome boxes mm -hmm. coming up. Hopefully. <laughs> yep. But again, this was the the September uh, frack crate. Uh, if uh, you are not subscribed to it, uh, I hope. Uh, by watching this, it makes you want to get it. Uh, it and it is a it is a month by month box, and you don't have to. Yeah, you have you have to specifically purchase it. Yeah, you have to go in at the at the very. Uh, you better be there. Specific point September. of this box, the very first of the month, you better, you be better buy the box because because between the first and the third, they're gone. Yeah, they they've gotten so popular. Uh, just in the few months that we've been playing with them, that uh, 
I, I, I lost out on a couple of really awesome boxes just because I didn't get them between the first and the third. Yeah. I waited to the fifth and they were all gone and I waited all month. And they only they only take um, payment for these between the first and the 20th. Yeah. But if you don't have it between the first and the third, you're not going to get it. Yeah. And then it will, it will ship to you. You buy it this month, it'll ship to you at the end of the month. Yeah. You know, and like we do, we do a couple other boxes. And the nice thing about this is if you don't like the, because they, they tell you what the uh, franchises are going to be. Mm -hmm. If you don't like the franchises, you don't have to purchase it. Yeah. I mean, you, um, you're not subscripted into it to where it takes the money out yeah. or you, you know, you have to pay some fee to get out of it. And some, I, some boxes do that. I, I, I do a couple of them that, that automatically debit it out at the beginning of the month, which I'm totally cool with it because... Uh, I just make money. Yeah, well, it's it's one that, that has has autographs in it every time. Oh yeah, so. and you know I'm that's huge. worth it alone. Yeah, I mean we'll get we'll get to that one here in just a little bit. Um, but you know if you want to to give this a shot, uh, you just go to fratcrate.com. Uh, um, they're not a sponsor of us. We just really enjoy their products. Uh, we hope they continue to strive and and be. Uh, you know, be leaders in this because I mean, they definitely think outside the box. I know I've said that on several videos, but it's true. Yeah. Um, and they're only like what a year, a year and a half. I old? think. I think total. Something like well, that. I think we're getting close to the second anniversary. Yeah. So I mean, they. And they, they, well, they've had a few anniversary boxes of other boxes and stuff as well. So, but yeah, I mean, they're they're super new to the game, but they're killing it. Okay. And I mean, for for the for, for the money for under forty bucks, they're killing it. Yeah. So. I definitely recommend uh, the Fright Crate. Uh, again, this is Scott with uh, Scared City Productions. This is Tony. Uh, we'll uh, talk to you soon. Uh, if you uh, if you haven't subscribed to uh, our channel, do that right now. Or down here, up here, we're gonna dance. And do, do, um... I will bite his finger <laughs> for a million likes. <laughs> Stay tuned. I know what you're thinking. Does Dean Winchester stand in front of you? No, I'm not that sexy. Though. You like what you see? I'm checking out some more stuff. <laughs>